And an effort to make crossing the street in Montgomery County uh, safer appears to be working. It's been about five years since the changes began, but as Hatzel Vela reports, despite the success, there is still room for improvement. Less than two months ago, News Chopper 7 was over Germantown Road, where a 15-year-old girl was struck and killed. Christina Morris Ward was hit while walking to Seneca Valley High School. I miss my baby. It's so hard. The incident is evidence Montgomery County still faces pedestrian safety challenges. There's no one single solution. Montgomery County Executive Ike Leggett touted his multi-solution approach. He says education, engineering and enforcement are lowering accidents involving pedestrians. This fence outside Westfield Shopping Center is an example of engineering built to keep people away from the median and directing them towards the crosswalk. A bus is what Guillermo Rodriguez uses to get around, so he uses this particular crosswalk often. The fence, he says, makes a difference and most of all helps people get rid of bad habits. Sometimes you're in a rush, you're just trying to cross the street real quick. There are senior citizens, there are children walking. Sophia Dickerson says walkers like her should get more time to cross, but she admits it's gotten better. County officials say the numbers prove it. In 2008, 19 people were killed while crossing a county road. This year, only six. Leggett says more signs help with education and cameras help with enforcement. Every year, the county is spending about $4 million just on pedestrian projects. It sounds like an awful lot in a tight budget, but it's well worth the while because you see the number of incidents, the number of collisions, the number of deaths actually significantly reduce. Leggett says he'd be more satisfied if the numbers dropped to zero. In Montgomery County, Hatzelvella, ABC 7 News.